Do you think the downswing move of Fred Couples in this video is better than Tiger Woods? Or was Nick Fardo's technique simply superior? Let's have a look at the best swings here of all time. And the two simple moves, the two simple things that they all have in common. Do you have them in your swing? So guys, right, what a golf swing. Now, there's hardly any swings in the world that just look great when they're hitting a driver. But uh, McElroy, as far as I'm concerned, this is the best looking swing that I've ever seen ever with a driver. And uh, I've seen him hit balls a couple of times live and to see the ball speed, it's um, it's actually shocking. You, you, you literally cannot uh, believe it. And uh, the guys won four major championships on the US Open at 22 by eight shots. And if you get a chance to watch that on YouTube, that is uh, some ball striking that you've probably never seen before. So even though we're not looking at uh, as many major championships as some of the legends, are we still looking at you know, one of the greatest swings of all time. Have a look at this, will you? I mean, normal people can't swing like this. It's just out of control. I mean, look at the width and the moves and how the feet work. <laughs> That's unbelievable, isn't it? How's his, how's, how fit is this? How's his body to be able to, look at that left arm, look at the width, to be able to hold that structure. I mean, the arm's nearly inverted. And the head drops down him on. He gets this sort of like scissor kick thing down the bottom that you've just never seen before. You know, moving downwards, huge turn of pivot that moves further down and then gets these feet to almost squeeze that last energy out of the ground as it sort of scissor kicks back up into a finish position that looks like it's an, an emblem for the PGA. This is your blueprint right here. This is your blueprint for compression, for consistency of strike, shot after shot. And this is where we see the great ball strikers and no one does it better than McElroy. Four to six inches of lateral shift. Look at the shaft lean, hands in front of the golf ball. And people, if you can get your body close to this position, the closer you get to this, the better you're going to strike the golf ball. Right, let's move further on into the video as we look at the best golf swings of all time. So guys, right, Couples, what a golf swing. Fred Couples, the coolest, probably the coolest human being to have ever played the game. One of the most liked golfers. But there's, there's something in this swing for everyone. Have a look at this. It's just slam dunks this hole in one and walks off like... Uh, like only Fred could. <laughs> Just that cool. Guys, something in this swing for everyone as we look at hitting the ball further and some of the hidden moves of this golf swing. Can't wait to show you this, especially for the senior players out there wanting to hit the ball further and more effectively. Let's have a look. The more I look at this swing, this is my favorite swing in world golf. The more I look at this swing, the more I realize it's got bits and pieces in it that's just absolutely remarkable. Have a look at this. I mean, looking at the release of really long hitters, especially for seniors as our bodies slow down, look at that lead wrist, how it moves into extension. Now, what we're seeing with, with, with this incredible motion is the amount of angle and lag and how he's able to let it go. Now, when we look at the other side, now the footwork's the best I've ever seen. I'm going to show you how he prevents any type of early extension at all. When you see the creases of the lead wrist here, and how free that release is. This is a great way for golfers to really let that club head swing past your body and maintain incredible club head speed throughout the years. One of the hallmarks of the great ball strikers here. We look at this lead hip relocation, this lead knee relocation. Look at the separation in that step over move from couples, transferring the weight, getting everything to shift across, and then releases it underneath. And what a release it is. The lead wrist extension is just absolutely incredible. Now, this move here, I, I really wish I had more of this in my swing. When we have a look at the right side of the screen here, it's like a push into the front part of the lead foot, that left foot, and the knee flexes. It just gives us time to shift and helps us transfer the speed of the club to the speed of the body. Now, just the rhythm, they're one of the secrets to great sequence and rhythm and fluidity as he just plows through the golf ball with a free and powerful release. And no wonder he's been able to hit the ball so far late in life. One of the secrets is getting your hands and wrists to work more effectively. Now, what Couples does have is a cupped wrist at the top. He's got a three-knuckle grip and a very high-flying right elbow. Now, but watch what he does here in this downswing and see how he's able to keep his hips 
back. This is why I say it's the best footwork I've ever seen. It's almost like the club just floats down and gradually flattens and shallows until the club head is perfectly behind the hands. Look at that club head, absolutely perfect. Look at this lead hip. Now, this footwork, I mean, that is the best footwork for an iron shot I've ever seen. Right? I mean, that is just about as good as it gets, a little bit like Lee Trevino, one of the best impact positions here of all time. Now, when we look at the great players, and we have a look at McElroy here on the left of the screen as well, we're looking at the similar moves, aren't we? When we're seeing the move down and into impact, this is your blueprint, and by working towards it, and the closer you get to this position, the better you're going to hit the golf ball. But guys, this is where they're ending up. Right, so a couple of simple lines on the screen. Send your swing through to me. I'm helping people from all around the world. I'll send you the exact drills that you need to take to take your game to the next level. Look at those two positions there. Absolutely perfect, identical lateral shift through the wall. Let's get on to the rest of the video as we look at some of the best swings of all time. So guys, right, have a look at this, will you? The young Tiger Woods, look at the speed the control, look how smooth it is on the way back. Look, it's unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, is that the is that the best swing you've ever seen? I mean, leave your comments. Some of the changes and the things that he made are just unbelievable. But I mean, that is, for me, just a, an insane goal swing. And Jack Nicholas said when he first played with him back then, he said it was different. He said he hadn't seen it before. It's like he was somehow blocking it, uh, the motion. We're going to take a really close look at this, but uh, once again, you know, the hallmarks of, you know, great ball striking. Wouldn't it be great if we could clone players and have Nicholas play against Tiger Woods when they were young? What would you pay to see that with the same equipment? That would have been unbelievable. But look at that lateral movement there, opening up. And, you know, that right leg here, really down under 60 degrees. And we're seeing a similar moves, aren't we? When we see moving through the ball here, have a look at this right side bend, this extension from the left side lifting up, the hallmarks really of, uh, you know, unbelievable ball strikers. So it's like a sprinter with a golf club, just hitting speeds that we had never, ever seen before. Now, when we have a look at this swing, I mean, it's not by choice. Some golfers just swing the way they swing, right? And But when we have a look at some of the positions he's in, I mean, it's not good for your back. And uh, we saw him have a lot of injuries through a lot of different things and a lot of different swing changes. But the width in this golf swing was remarkable. The club face position at the top. You see the lead wrist slightly flexed here. And as he comes down, I mean, the position is, is incredible. And we hadn't seen a swing like this before. But when we get down just before into P6 here. See where that club head is? It's the same thing, isn't it? It's what we're seeing with great players. You've got to be filming your swings with your mobile phone, guys, so that you're working with great information. Now, through the golf ball, this is frightening. And we're not recommending anybody do this. But when you have a look at these numbers, have a look at this. I mean, we're up around 70 degrees here. And, and that is just insane. Now, look how high that left shoulder is. That's up around Victor Hoblin area here. Massive extension through the golf ball. But when we have a look at the swing from the front view, guess what? Guess what we see again? And that's right, guys. Once again, the blueprint, what we see with the world's best ever ball strikers is the exact same position coming down on the downswing. Does it make you wonder whereabouts you are? Like if this is possible, it's not some unbelievable athletic movement. We can all get ourselves into this position, or at least much closer to it, if you are working on the correct areas of your swing and that's where we have a lag and compression series there on world-class golf instruction really helping people with the deep to shallow swing style guys there's some amazing moves now let's have a look at one of my favorite swings one of the best swings of all time can't wait to show you this one so guys sam sneed many say the best golf swing of all time listen to what he had to say here people always said i had a natural swing they thought i wasn't a hard worker but when i was young i'd play and practice all day that practiced more at night by my car's headlights. My hands bled. Nobody worked harder at golf than I did, Sneed. Amazing, now this guy won 82 PGA Tour tournaments or tour victories, tied with Tiger Woods the most ever. And many say the straightest driver of the golf ball of all time. The legendary squat position. Have a look at the elbow coming in. Does baseball have something to do with that for the Americans? Leave your comments underneath. It'd be very interesting to hear that. An incredible impact position. This is the best pivot in golf I've ever seen. Look at that left hip, 10 to 17 degrees is the tour average. He's right up on the high side of things there. 
And uh, when you're looking at this pivot, how it lined up perfectly with the shoulders and the, and the hips landing in the same place on the ground, the guy's flexibility was just incredible, actually. And, uh, you know, he could bend his body and twist it into positions that nobody really could. Have a look at that for a position here. I've never really seen hips to be up this high, the head lowering. The speed of this swing was just mind-blowing. You hear stories from Lee Trevino and Nicholas and how this guy drove the golf ball. Have a look at this. I mean, the guy's kicking a roof at 70 years of age. Who kicks a roof at 70? Incredible flexibility. Now, let's get in there and have a look at a couple of the positions here in this golf swing. One of the fascinating things about this incredible swing here of Sam Sneed was the bends in the body and getting the plane of the shoulders exactly inside the PGA average, working this right hip up and back, getting that right leg to extend. Now, if you can draw that right leg back and get some depth in your pivot, this supplies you with a lot of time, great rhythm and helps you with some just fantastic structure in this swing. Now, at the top of the swing, the PGA average here is 40 degrees. All right, so when we, that's the shoulder plane. Now, for a lot of the senior players, if you can get around mid-30s, it's still a great place to be. Halfway through the golf ball, when the arms are parallel to the ground, PGA average there is we halve the shoulder plane a little bit there is 55 degrees. And by turning with a high left shoulder, and keeping your side bend and your neck tilt. Just have a look at this because this is a, a great area just to get into your through swing. Look at that neck tilt. See how the head's on the side? It's basic. Everyone can think that. And it's just fantastic for your impact position. Getting your, it sounds funny, right? Getting your through swing in a great place and getting your finish position can really have just an amazing effect on your impact position. Now, one of the areas I like to look at, which some people find a little bit technical, but yeah, it's about improving your ball striking. If you get around this position here, and what I do is I draw a line from the shoulder and the belt buckle. And if you're flexible enough, it's an advantage, right? If you're not, okay, you do the best you can. But if you can get under 40 degrees there, that is in a place where you'll see some of the best ball strikers of all time. There's just so many advantages to a perfect pivot, to a great pivot in the way that we tilt and turn and, and get everything to collect correctly at the top because from that position it just makes ball striking so much easier couples on the left sam sneed on the right and you can see how straight how much this left side is is really lined up here okay this is an important part to notice this is what i'm talking about for a lot of amateur golfers if you guys are not very far away from the wall when you shift across and you turn correctly you're going to move your bodies through the wall and guess what you're getting inside the blueprint of great ball strikers and we've got to work with some evidence-based instruction right it's not all about positive thinking and having your best shoes and pants on you've got to get your body you've got to get the swing geometry right to be able to propel a golf ball down the line like this there's, there's three or four things we all have to do to consistently propel a golf ball down the line and you've got to analyze your swing all right, so send your swing through to me and we'll get you working on the good stuff. Amazing swing, Sam Sneed. Once again, in the exact same position at impact where the best ball strikers are of all time. So guys, right, Nick Faldo and one of the straightest hitters of all time. Sweet swinging Nick Faldo. Made it look so easy. One of the moves that I always love was the move out of the top. Have a look at this. See how he flattens the plane. See how he's just got that. He's got that magic move, hasn't he? That Ben Hogan move. And when you analyze it, you know, everyone's... David led better change his swing. He was already a great player before that. But when we get in there and we can see that's the move. His hand-eye coordination was phenomenal. Just the ability to bring that right elbow, that trail elbow. See how he just brings it in? I mean, that's the move. If you can do that, you're going to shallow the plane. You're going to bring it into the go zone. And that's where he made it look so easy through the ball. Perfect rhythm and balance. And the guy just practiced until his fingers bled. Now, incredible goal swing, but we don't forget the talent level and some of the unbelievable moves. But once again, guess where he was at impact? It's an interesting one because he almost made it sound like lateral movement was the no-go that he had back in the day. Too much lateral movement. But so a lot of people were out there practicing things they probably shouldn't have been practicing. Be careful what you work on. Because once again, when we're looking at the world's best ever ball strikers getting in and around impact, what we're seeing is a big lateral shift, half of the lead leg through the wall, and a little bit of that shoulder, right bang, smack bang in the same blueprint 
all of these golfers. Guys, follow the good information. I really hope this opened up your eyes a little bit, understanding great technique, whether some of the best players of all time, they all end up in the same position, and we should all be striving and working on these things to help us improve. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and we'll catch you next time.